Laura's uh, almost here with the uh, the weather forecast. I look across nervously, of course, because of the weather events weather events of the weekend. Not many of us will be wishing for more rain. It's not something we'd be doing very often. In northern China, though, where droughts are common, the government sometimes intervenes and seeds rain clouds to force water to fall where it's needed. But as you can see, this time things didn't go quite according to plan. The arrival of a cold front caused the earliest snowfall in a decade and uh, road, rail and air travel hugely disrupted. Just shows you can't always get what you want. Let's see if we can get what we want with the weather. And Laura, um, <laughs> it's not looking that hopeful. No, not great outside today. Not, in fact, not great for this week. All changed for many of us. It's set to turn pretty showery today but quite a lot cooler. I'm sure we all noticed we stepped outside this morning. It felt pretty chilly. And we'll just look back to last week. Temperatures for many overnight got no lower than 12 degrees. This week for many of us by day, there'll be no better than 12 degrees. So things becoming a lot cooler. And the reason for that is a change in wind direction. The wind's now sweeping in from the west, driving in weather systems. One massive cloud here is heading our way, bringing increasing cloud and the threat of rain. Another area of cloud that swirled just to the northeast of Scotland. Well, that brought all of the wet weather we saw yesterday. Thankfully, though, now that's clearing away from the northeast of Scotland and things are drier here today. Blustery showers on the winds across western areas of Scotland. A few showers, too, for the northwest of England. But for central and eastern England today, it's a bright, sunny one, just patchy cloud around, and it looks set to be dry. But just look at those temperatures 10, 11, maybe 14 degrees at best. Well down on where they have been, but that's actually around about the seasonal average. Further west, though, we will be engulfed by cloud through the afternoon. The one we just saw on the satellite picture bringing rain to Cornwall and Devon, also through Pembrokeshire and central areas of Wales. So increasingly cloudy, bit of a grey afternoon to come here. Also turning increasingly cloudy across Northern Ireland. A pretty cool afternoon to come here. Highs around about 10 or 11 degrees. Now through this evening, we will see this weather front invading, spreading eastwards, turning cloudy for many of us. Rain for England and Wales, generally light and patchy, heaviest in the north of Wales and the northwest of England. We will have some heavy rain making its way into the southwest of Scotland. Perhaps not great news, the risk of some flooding, something obviously to keep our eyes on. Then yes, this rain band will push eastwards tomorrow. There will be some rain for the northeast of Scotland. I'm hopeful though this rain shouldn't be too heavy. We will though see that rain clearing away from the east. A pulse of heavy rain though through southern counties of England. Elsewhere tomorrow, yet again, it's cool and showery. Some of those showers tomorrow could well be pretty heavy, particularly towards the northwest of Scotland. Through tomorrow evening, those showers will continue their progress eastwards. And then for Wednesday, well, it's a repeat performance, a story of sunshine and showers, heavy showers at times and for the northwest of Scotland across high ground. We could well even see some mountain snow and temperatures yet again, 11 to 13 degrees at best. So certainly feeling a lot like autumn outside. Send your pictures in if you've got any nice ones to weatherpics at bbc.co.uk. Thank you very much. Thank you.